Hi, this is Moni with Feng Shui for Us, and I would like to give you a peek into the Feng Shui for Us expanded professional charts. This is actually the original PDF file that was used to print the book, so everything you're going to see on this file is exactly the way it is in the book. And so the expanded Feng Shui professional charts are charts that I have been putting together since I started studying Feng Shui about uh, 20 years ago. And every time I created a class, a course, an online program, or um, when I was writing uh, my eight uh, textbooks on Feng Shui that I have published, I created charts to make it easier for people to understand Feng Shui concepts. And there's a simplified version of the Bagua map and uh, the Feng Shui Celestial Animals, which explains about form school and the type of formations that you would look for in the country to find the ideal Feng Shui location. My school, the Nine Steps to Feng Shui system, is a derivation of form school. Here it uh, teaches you how to map the life areas on a floor plan, when to include the garage or not, with examples, the life areas in the human body, and this is uh, the explanation of why using the compass of the heart that was suggested by Master Lin Yun in order to use the Bagua map on the floor plan which is aligning the bottom of the Bawa map with the wall that contains the main entrance of the home works so well because it's actually biology based and in these charts you can see how the, each life area roughly corresponds with the location of organs in the body and the torso. So you also get a copy of the professional Feng Shui for us Bawa map front and back. I have taken each of these squares that you see in the Bawa map, the front and the back of the Bawa map and I have expanded them so that it's easier to study from these charts and easier to read and understand. And so you get uh, two pages for each one of the life areas in numerical order. There's also charts about the eight trigrams and how they relate to the life areas. The five elements, there is a lot of information in this book about the Feng Shui five elements. So if you are studying Feng Shui or any other discipline where you need to learn about the five elements, these are really important and easy to understand charts. You also get a lot of information on the colors for the five elements. Very complete charts that you can see here. How you use the five elements in Feng Shui. This is the information for the water element, the wood element, the fire element, the metal element. I have also included in this book charts on how to choose Feng Shui correct colors by the room in the home and also a chart that tells you suggested colors uh, by combining the room in the home with the life area they are located in according to the Bagua map. Color proportions, what is accepted and what is not accepted in Feng Shui, really easy to understand. And this is the section on Feng Shui for the body, what life areas are related to different times of the day and night, and also the organs that go with that. Some charts that are used in Chinese medicine that show where condition of different organs and systems uh, are expressed in the tongue, on the face, in the eye, the life areas on the human spine, Feng Shui and uh, body parts, how the body parts relate to the different life areas. This can give a lot of insight. There's also a comparison of the Hindu system that uses the seven chakras and the Dantian Chinese system that uses three major energy centers. Uh, Feng Shui for the soul is one of my favorite parts. And actually, there's an anatomy of the soul that we study in any branch of Chinese medicine, including Feng Shui. And uh, for example, the... Um, the spirit resides in the hollow spaces of the heart. Uh, there's uh, three benevolent sages that reside in the liver and so forth. Humans as connectors of heaven and earth. And vices and virtues on the Bagua map. This is partly based on the capital sins. And also clutter in the body related to the Bagua map. This uh, book also has uh, some information that teaches you how to Clear your own space or negative subtle energies. Feng Shui for the spirit is the relationship between the archangels and the life areas in Feng Shui. The Nine Steps to Feng Shui Pyramid, which shows how the Nine Steps to Feng Shui is used for homes, businesses, landscaping, and other things. And there's also an expansion of that chart. And the Feng Shui Kitty cartoons, which are pretty funny because Feng Shui Kitty is trying to get rid of the dog she lives with. 
this is just to give you an idea of uh, the contents of the book Feng Shui for Us Expanded Professional Charts so that you can see the value that is included in this book. This is the result of my research, study, and effort of 20 years. All these charts have been created by me. They really hold a lot of information about Feng Shui and you can really learn a lot from these charts.